What's going on guys, Joey Cuz coming back at you again today. And today, I'm going to do another brewery review. We'll try to anyway. Cuz, this is another one that Stephen Bush sent me and I am slacking, I am behind. I told him I'd do this a while ago. This is the uh, Iron Monk. Uh, this is another one from his area. Uh, <clears throat> let see, where does it say? If I can even look. Stillwater, Oklahoma. And this has an alcohol content of 6%. And crafted in Stillwater, Oklahoma. See, it even says on that. I didn't have to look that far. I, I'm so good at this stuff. I'm good at seeing the obvious. So, let's see what else. This, obviously, it's a milk stout. Now, he sent me two of these. I had one already, and I really did enjoy it. And I'm kind of pissed that they don't sell this here because it is really good. Um, see if there's anything on this label to add to it. Yada yada yada, ba 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 ba. Who cares? Let's just open this bad boy up and see what it tastes like. And uh, I'm going to use my uh, 50 cal from a salty shell back. So let's get at it. Let's see, it's, uh, it, it's foaming. Oh, it got excited. So let's see. Ooh, what do we got there? Plenty of head, that's for sure. It's got a nice smell to it. Uh, anything else on here? Not that I could see, but let's. Uh... Ooh, got on my nose. Did I mention it had plenty of head? First off, you know you could smell the malts on it. It's not strong. Then again, it could just be me, but you do you do smell that. Um, what's it say? Maybe a little bit of chocolate? No. But bear with me, guys. I suck at this, and you guys are watching. If you watch through this whole video, <sighs> I don't even know what to say. Let's it. Cheers, and uh, let's taste it. Well, right off the bat, like I said, you smell the malts, you taste the malts. Um, that's my phone making noise. Um, hmm. What could I say about it? I don't know. This is uh, going to be a good one. <clears throat> you can tell right away. Now, the one thing is... Steve forgot to, told me I forgot. What Steve told me I forgot was the mouthfeel. Mouthfeel's pretty good. Take that as you will. Um, yeah, I, I totally suck at this, guys. Hmm. Alcohol wise, you barely taste the alcohol on it. <clears throat> it doesn't burn or anything like that. It's very, very subtle. Honestly, this tastes a little bit different than the than the other one. I don't know why. Just because I let it sit a little bit longer. I don't know. Is that bad? No. It still tastes good to me. Basically, the only reason I'm doing this video is I just want you guys to watch me drink beer. And I'm kind of lonely today. Wife's not home. I got this big ass tree sitting to my uh, to my right. I don't know. Hold on. Maybe you guys can see that. That huge ass freaking tree. Yeah, it it go it goes up. Anyway, and I screwed the camera up. It just is a. Elf over my right shoulder as well. Oh, excuse me. So, I don't know. Definitely not the best of this. So, on uh, 
that note, I'll leave a link to uh, Stephen Bush's channel so you guys can go check him out. Actually, check out his review on it. It's a lot better than mine. Way better than mine. Actually, didn't he Bomi just do a review on this too? Like a couple days ago? Something like that. Those guys are professionals. Me, I'm just a professional, uh, uh, I can't even find the words. Professional uh, something. Oh yeah, in fact, there's the bottle cap. So, oh guys, bear with me. This was uh, pretty fun, pretty boring, but I'm not a review guy. This will probably be the last one. Maybe I'll do a couple more. Anyway, I've wasted you guys time long enough. Thank you again, Stephen Bush, for uh, sending me the beer. I still got a couple more of his to drink. And uh, maybe I'll try it again on the next one. But I don't know. I guess I'll have to talk to you guys later. Because I don't know what else to say about this beer, but I wish I had some more of it. And I wish you guys could taste it. Later.